Hi, it's Alpita, the Mystical Mama, and welcome to the full moon in Leo reading for the sign of Capricorn for February 2023. Your first card for this full moon in Leo reading comes from the Corrupt Tarot, which is a Kickstarter special, and it is the Page of Wands, okay? Here, she is looking for external validation in order to honor who she is and what she does. You do not need external validation. I feel like you are always chasing the new, the pretty, the shiny, and these things are empty. They do not bring you the joy and fulfillment that you desire. You need to look within yourself, especially with this full moon. It will illuminate all those fool's gold that you have been chasing and it will give you an opportunity to recalibrate and reprioritize what is important to you and what you truly want to pursue in your life. I feel that the, this is important in the areas of career and love. Both of them go hand in hand. So being mindful of the things that you are chasing that you think will give you the results you want, that will give you the love and the money and the, the recognition you want but they really are empty promises, okay? Our next card comes from the Be Your Own, Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck, and it is the Clover card, Release Your Guilt. A lot of times when we seek external validation is because we feel that we have wronged someone, and so we are now seeking someone else to validate us, to make us feel right, so that we no longer feel wrong or bad, all right? that never ends well <laughs> okay if you need to let go of your guilt maybe you need to speak to the person that you feel like you have wronged okay if that person is not available because they have passed or because you are no longer connected to them or you feel uncomfortable speaking to them you can write them a letter and then burn it in a safe and appropriate way we do not always need to speak the words directly to a person when we send these words out into the universe through a letter and especially through the transformative properties of the fire element, they receive that message. Trust me, they will receive it loud and clear. And if the person has passed, this letter will serve to assuage your guilt and help you to move on. All right, our last card is a merry motive okay what is it that you truly desire what do you want your life to look like what do you want in the areas of love and career look at all these bright and shiny things that are available to you these are real these are fulfilling promises unlike the pirate pyrite the fool's gold that you have been chasing they feel scary though to you. They feel so out of reach and they are not. You just merely need to dig deep within you and see what it is you truly desire in your life. A lot of times we make these superficial goals, these I've settled for less goals because we are afraid to ask for what we truly desire. Because if we do not achieve these superficial goals, it's eh, it's okay, I didn't want that anyway. But if we do not achieve those deep down desires, then we are afraid that our life is for nothing. That is not true. The universe listens very carefully when we speak from our heart, when we speak from the depths of our soul, when we speak for superficially, you know, I want that pretty shiny thing. It doesn't hear us all the time. Sometimes we get those things, sometimes we don't. But when we lean in and whisper to the universe our secret desires our deepest darkest desires and we do not judge them we allow ourselves to desire what we desire then the universe stands up and listens and says oh, i know how to help you with that i know exactly what you need and it delivers it on a silver platter it is time for you to expose even just to yourself, your deepest, darkest desires. And I don't mean darkest as in forbidden or taboo, although they may feel that way to you, but they are those deep desires that you have kept hidden for a long, long time for fear 
of exposing them to the light and realizing that they'll never come true. That is not true. They are within your reach when you open your mouth and you express them to the universe. And yes, I mean saying them out loud, but only to yourself. You need not tell them to another soul. So whether you pray or you chant or you do spell work, it does not matter how you convey your desires to the universe. Put pen to paper, if you will, and then burn that paper and release it to the universe in a safe and appropriate way. Just let the universe know what you truly desire and it will come to you quicker than you can ever imagine. Okay, now Capricorn, if you enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, The Mystical Mama, you will find my website below in the description. I would love to do a session for you. Until next time, take care.